Every two seconds, someone becomes a victim of an online scam. Yes, you heard it right, every two seconds. It's a shocking statistic, isn't it? In this ever-growing digital age, the convenience of online shopping comes with a hidden price, and that price is vulnerability to scams. These scams are becoming increasingly prevalent and sophisticated, targeting unsuspecting shoppers and leaving them in a lurch. One such instance is the online store, Ola Shop, which appears to be more than it seems. Ola Shop, a seemingly harmless online store selling unisex t-shirts, has several red flags. This virtual marketplace has been waving all sorts of suspicious signals from fake contact details to an unresponsive email. It's like a ghost town, no one's home and there's no one to answer your queries. What's more, it's borrowed content from another online store which is questionable in itself. It's like seeing a mirror image that doesn't quite add up. And if you're hoping to find customer reviews to quell your doubts, well, you're out of luck. It's a blank slate, not a single word from a satisfied or disgruntled customer. Now, let's talk about trust. Trust is the currency of online shopping, right? Well, their trust score is in the pits. It's like they've gone bankrupt on credibility. But don't worry, we have some tips to help you avoid falling into such traps. First off, always verify the trust seal of the website you're shopping from. It's like a badge of authenticity, assuring you that the site is safe and secure. Next, consider using the Google Transparency Report. It's a handy tool that tells you if a site is involved in phishing or distributing malware. And don't forget about social media. A reputable site will usually have a solid presence on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. If you unfortunately fall victim to a scam, don't panic. There are ways to get your money back. In case you've been scammed, it's important to report it to the FTC and the Internet Crime Complaint Center. Don't forget you can reach out to your credit card company or the payment platform you used. They might be able to help with a refund. For more information on getting your money back, check out our description and pinned comment. Stay safe out there, folks.